Hello, thanks for watching this video. Herque Sustainability Matters. This topic is EAC4, Energy and Atmosphere Credit for DR, Demand Response. There is no corresponding prerequisite to this credit. The intent of this credit is to make energy system more efficient, increase grid uh, reliability, reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Uh, let me put the same example from previous credit because they are connected to each other. Case one is the total energy consumption equals to 1,000 watt hour. Case two consume the same, but in case two, its demand is 10 times of case one. And this credit focuses on the demand. Based on Wiki, demand response is the change of your power consumption. As I know, there are at least two types of them. Let me put on screen. Changes in price or incentive payment. There are two cases here. Case one, demand response program available, two points. Participate in a DR plan through load shading or shifting. Load shading is you take some intention actions to reduce the load of system during some emergency situations like capacity shortage, system instable or voltage control. For this DR program, it's uh, real time for automatic for program DR based on external initiation by a DR program provider would be ideally. Otherwise, you could choose a semi automatic DR, which is uh, people they decide to trigger it or not. Then you must enroll a minimum one year DR plan with the intention not commit of multi-year renewal for at least 10 percentage of the estimated peak electricity demand and which is determined by EAP2 prerequisite to minimal energy performance is on page 335, lead before reference guide. And you must develop a comprehensive plan for meeting the contractual commitment during the DR event. Let me explain DR event. It has another name, curtailment event. The utilities cause for a change in your pattern or label in grid-based electricity. And assign the DR process to commission authority, including at least one full test of this DR plan. Case two is there is no DR plan for you. So it is worth one point only. Install interval recording meters connect to your BAS building automation system to accept an external input such as price change or control signal. And also comprehensive plan for shedding at least 10% of the estimated peak electricity demand, which is also determined by EA 
P2, minimal energy performance, as I just mentioned. This description is similar to case one's second and third requirement, but not totally the same. Let's assign the DR process to commission authority, including at least one full test of DR. This requirement is the same as in case one. Oh, additionally, contact local utility representatives to discuss participate in future DR programs or request them to have a DR demand response plan for you and for other people, residents nearby them. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.